Tides of Slime is a card game for one to four players starring three to five adventurers. Entering the ruins beneath the overgrown lab of the late Mad Alchemist, they seek a powerful artifact deep within known as the Staff of Amorphous Command. These highly skilled veteran adventurers will easily overcome every obstacle and foe that stands between them and their prize. But this isn't the story of the adventurers. In all of the tales told about this day, these brave souls will only be a footnote. In Tides of Slime, players take the role of one of four gelatinous experiments inadvertently awakened by our hapless heroes. These oozing abominations have no greater goal in mind than to devour and grow. The aftermath of the heroes' victories will nurture these creatures and make them bigger, stronger, faster, and smarter. It's only a matter of time before the tides of slime reach the adventurers and their true challenge begins. Each slime begins the game with their own unique stats and abilities. Players take their turns in the order of their speed stat, rolling a die for their acidity. Afterwards, they move and devour a number of times equal to their speed stat. If they move, they place one of their acid tokens on an adjacent card. If they choose to devour, they can place a number of acid tokens up to their body size on the object they're on. If they devour the object, it gets removed from play and the player gets to add the stats listed on the card to their ooze. If the object was a magic item, the player keeps this card in front of them and they may use the ability on the card if their brain is advanced enough. Certain objects can be more difficult to move over or devour based on what they're made of. On my turn I roll a 6 for my acidity and have 6 acid tokens to use this turn. My gelatinous ooze moves around the pit trap since it has a brain of 3 or greater. It doesn't leave any acid on the trap since its stone construction resists acid. It moves to the table with the boots of the slug on it, but is not a high enough body size to reach the top of the table. It devours the table, which increases its body size. Since it still has an action left, it can devour the boots as well to gain the slime trail ability, doubling acid tokens that are left behind when the gelatinous ooze moves. Now that my turn is over, I move my marker on the turn tracker, and the next round begins. After the next turn for all the experiments, the adventurers will move on to their next room. At any time, an ooze may attempt to close the distance and attack an adventurer. Once they do, the adventurers will move more quickly and directly to their goal, increasing their pace but leaving more useful items behind for the slimes to eat. If all adventurers meet their fate, the player who has devoured the most adventurers wins the game. Tides of Slime is an easy to learn game with a lot of replayability. Its single deck is chock full of creatures, traps, and all the furnishings of a dangerous dungeon just waiting to be devoured. A variety of adventurers to choose from changes the way the hunt plays out each and every time. Players must balance the risks of letting the adventurers collect too many items or get too close to the artifact, with the benefits of the adventurers getting slowly worn down by the monsters they face. Once attacked, the adventurers move quickly, so the important thing is to keep up. Players can only win if the adventurers do not defeat them with the artifact, and only one player can devour the most adventurers to become the king of the slimes.